Ooh, is that a smolly? Oh, yes, yes, yes. What's happening guys? So the last time you see me, we were panning for gold and today we're panning for fish. Okay, maybe not that, but we are looking for pan fish. Uh, yeah, hopefully today goes better because I swear I've been trying to make this video forever. Um, either I'm working or the water's just unsafe for the kayak or I'm just not getting a bite or this happens telling you guys every time I go to film a video about this this kind of thing happens <laughs> stuff like this so yeah we are on the river we're on the kayak water's a little bit cloudy but I think that might help us out a little bit I think it's the right amount of cloudiness nice and sunny um, which is usually when I have my best luck um, so yeah, we're gonna start throwing some stuff around, see if we can't get any bluegill or some like pumpkin seed, maybe some smallmouth, rock bass, something, just some smaller type fish. They're a lot of fun. I'd rather get a lot of those over a monster fish any day. So I'm all about the numbers, but whatever we're out here, I'm itching to get in the water. So let's get to it. I don't know if anything will be right here, but there is some laid down branches and stuff cover for them oh oh there's something there for sure guys just didn't quite commit oh yeah let's go come on ah yo they're there guys no I think I hooked my hooked my bait no you just tried to pull my bait off goodness gracious he's trying to pull my bait off guys but they are out and about and biting that's the good news oh we got one we got one Woo! oh you're a nice little size too look at you you're a nice gill you're a nice gill Look at you, you're chunky. Look at that guy, that's a nice gill to start the day. Now how we did we get you? Come on out there, okay. Okay, when I don't try not to hook you anyway. Look at that guys. I'm telling you what, if today was the day I was doing a catch and cook challenge, you, you would be going. But we're not. Okay, thanks for playing. That was a nice, that was a decent sized gill, man. He was tall. Let's really try to get up under there towards the rocks. Oh. Yep, yep. There we go. Okay, calm down. What are you doing? See, you're, uh, you're way smaller than that other guy. Oh, but we'll take you. Okay, calm down. Good job, thanks for playing. Tell your buddies. Or don't tell your buddies, actually. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about, guys. This is already a better day than like the last three trips put together. <laughs> See, look. <laughs> Team Dink right there, son. Team Dink, look at you though. How did you get that in there? Cool. Thanks for playing. Look at that. Um, let me back up a little bit because this seems to be a spot right here, at least for small little dinks. Um, we're using the uh, Mule Menno 
2.2 minnow from mule fishing. I really like mule fishing, guys. Um, well, I need a better knot for my braid because that's causing me issues. Um, yeah, I love their plastics or his plastics. It's one guy. He's a really cool dude. He's really into ultralight fishing like this and just being able to get out and do some fishing, you know, when you don't have a lot of time. You got like an hour after work or an hour before work or just 30 minutes here and there and you really just want to get on some fish and just catch some fish, you know? You don't care if they're small, just as long as you're catching some fish. So yeah, I'll put links to his channel and Mule Fishing's channel and Mule Fishing's website if you're into fishing and you want to check them out. Um, because look at this, guys. Check this out. This is like Z-Man quality. If you know what Z-Man is. Look, I can stretch this for days and it will always go back. And like, it's got great action. It works really well. Uh, all of their soft plastics have worked really well thus far for me. Ooh. That's an intro. Okay, we're good. We're good. Oh, look at that. 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 Come here. How you doing, bud? You're kind of chunky. Look at you. You're kind of chunky. Okay. Hey. Now, bro, how am I supposed to get that out of you? If you're gonna close your mouth, I need you to keep that mouth open, boy. We gotta probably get forceps to get this out of you. Goodness gravy. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Look, I got you, boy. Very sorry. You're bleeding a little bit, but you choke that down, mega. Mega choke that thing down. Oh, that's casting much better now. Oh. What in the world? Whew. Oh, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. Chill, chill, bro. Chill. Chill, bro. Do not poke me with your daggum spine. Look, you are another genuinely good fish. How do we get this in here? What angle did you hook yourself, bro? Okay, bud. We'll let you go. Goodbye. Go. 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 <laughs> there he is. I was stunned too, my guy. I was stunned too. You had that hook good. Yeah, that was a pretty good gill too. He would have made an awesome little dinner. God, I kind of want to, but I don't have any way, good way to, I don't have any ice or anything with me or any way to keep, I don't have a stringer or anything because I would love, and I don't have a fillet knife. I'm trying to talk myself into doing it and I'm like, I don't have a fillet knife to fillet the gills. But also we're on the Kanawha River, see that's a, that's probably a no banger because there's a chemical plant right across, <laughs> right across from me. Now if we've been on the Elk River, one day I will go on the Elk River and we'll do a catch and cook thing. My goodness, my goodness, stop it. You know you want to eat my tasty treat. Oh, 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 there was one right up under there. Right up under them leaves. Oh, come on. So we might gotta to position ourselves. A little bit here. 
Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. As soon as it hits, it, it just they just take it. Didn't mean to slap you like that, but you're a little dink. You're a little dink. Hey, be respectful. My goodness, my forceps are gonna get a workout today. None of y'all wanna get it in the lip. You just wanna like straight choke this thing. Gosh, you got hooked bad right there. Ooh, I'm not feeling real hopeful for this little dude. This little dude just might be done for. Because he's got that hooked. <sighs> well. Yeah, he's probably not going to make it, unfortunately. I'm sorry, bud. He's trying to swim a little bit, but he's having trouble going down, it looks like. Man, that's that's a shame. Hopefully you'll be all right, but I don't got high hopes for that little guy. I mean, I just basically, he had it like down his stomach almost. And I basically just had to pull that thing out because I didn't want to leave it in him. Because even if he dies with this in him, somebody else is going to eat it. And then they're going to be in trouble too because they're eating a the hook. <sighs> yeah, I'm still real upset about that. I feel real badly good that that fish ain't going to make it. It's a shame. You know, I like coming out here and fishing and stuff, but I don't really, I don't want to unnecessarily kill the fish, you know? Like, that's not what I want. I want to have a good little fight with them. Nice little chat, send them on their way. Let them get big and strong. And that's like the exact opposite of just what happened. Oh no, that last little bit wasn't recording. Anyway, I found this little spot. It looks kind of juicy to me, even though it's mad sketchy to get my stuff in here, but. Yes! Woo Ooh, is that a smallie? Oh, that's a smallie, guys. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And you are like a good one, too. Tighten my drag up a little bit. Oh, man, you are a nice smallie. Oh, my gosh. That is like a 12-incher all day. 12 incher all day bro you ain't going nowhere just calm down that is what i'm talking about that is a 12 incher smallie all day and i will take it we're taking a picture here i know i know we're gonna hurry up guy i know we're, we're ah! all right we're gonna let you go we're gonna, okay you ready you ready go on go on yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Man, I told y'all that spot was going to be juicy. I told you. <laughs> Whew, I love the little panfish, but bro, I love a good smallmouth. I mean, around, I mean, now people that go out and they fish and they get smallmouth and stuff, that probably ain't nothing. But in my area, even in like the fishing apps and stuff, like I don't really see anybody posting pictures of like massive, massive smallmouth. Uh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Okay, hold on, wait, 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 wait. What is happening? What is happening, guys? Let me loosen up. Oh my God, we're getting attacked by a tree. And there's spiders, oh my goodness. Dude, that thing just like hit the water. I caught up in some, hold on bro. Nope, we are in some stuff right now, guys. 
<sighs> you are beautiful. You're a big and look at you. Hey, 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 hey. Thank you. Look at that, guys. Beautiful fish. Hey, whoa. See, now you want to do stuff like that. And I was going to put you all nice in the water. Now I'm caught up in the... Gosh dang, gosh dang, get... Get out of there. No! Let's try to take my rod. Oh my gosh. Stuff is happening. Oh man, we got... I'm gonna have to cut to that point. And I don't really want to, but there's a kink in that line now, and if I don't... Gosh dang. If I don't, we'll lose a fish. 100% we will lose a fish. Okay. Okay. So there was obviously fish in there. We did have to fix that though, because I if you had to get a kink in the line. You're gonna lose the fish. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Got you now, sucker. Yeehoo! I don't know why I just let out like a, a western. <laughs> Yeehoo! Oh, come on, bro. Okay. Man, you're a nice guilt. Man, I should pick today to be. Ow! To get stabbed in the finger by your stupid butt. You got a small mouth, I can't really lip you, but you'd be a good dinner. Go on, get out of here. Oh. Yes, sir. Ooh. <laughs> Again, I did not mean to smack you, good my good sir. Oh, and that came right. You were not hooked good at all. Beautiful, beautiful. There you go. Thanks for playing. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's see, you know, you're tensed up. Chill out. I know you're a nice looking pumpkin seed, maybe hybrid, but beautiful, beautiful. There you go. There you go, bub. Remember, don't tell your friends. Because I'm coming. Man, I'm about to. God, I'm about to watch the video. Like, I don't even know what we're up to today. But you know what I'm saying? Like, I'd much rather get more than a big one, although that nice size smally, like, I'll take them all day, <laughs> though. If you could promise me that's all I would catch, phew, I'm here for it. I would take that over the bluegill. But bluegill are fun, man. Especially on this ultralight setup, they just feel like you're fighting a monster every time. And you're really not. Like, it doesn't take much to double this rod over. A lot of fun. A lot of people think bluegill are more of like a kid fish and they're not <laughs> Woo -hoo! look at you i need to maybe let some more drag out so i can better get these guys hey 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 chill bro nope i said chill Oh, 
<laughs> you are the dink of the you are the new dink of the day. Like our <laughs> How did you even get that in your mouth? How did you even get that in your mouth, bro? Look at you. You're baked. Oh, uh, well, that was not a graceful. I mean, if you want to go out the scupper hole, be my guest. Go on out of there. You're causing problems now. My goodness. Uh, see what common problems you've caused, Dink. If you wanted refined, non-messed up fishing content, my friends, you have come to the wrong place. I'll tell you that. Because I will get hung up in a tree 70 times on a trip. If I don't get hung up in a tree 70 times on a trip, it ain't a trip. Goodness, guys. I turned the thing off for one second, throw a cast out, and this dude just absolutely smacked it off the top of the water. Oh. So we're gonna back up. And we won't give this spot a go because that dude was literally like, let's get it. And then a boat passed and now we're in all kind of some trouble. Man, I bet by this stupid little stump actually. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. That's where I threw it through. <laughs> oh no. And you got hooked pretty. No. Okay. You got, I can see where you got hooked. So. There you go. That was pretty fun. I knew I should have. Let's try it again. Just because it's so ridiculous that that worked. I want to do like a one take. Like, I don't want to edit. How to catch panfish. Ultralight setup. Water. Panfish. <laughs> oh man, that worked out great. This is where we were at the beginning of the video. And we were getting smacked. Let's try. Oh yeah. Right up in there like that. But we're headed for disaster. Oh no, was I not recording that fish I just got? Oh. oh, I just had a fish, guys. And I guess I wasn't recording. That sucks. So add one to the count, plus one. I was here before a long while ago and there is definitely stuff on these rocks. There we go. Cool. Thanks for playing, bud. That made up for it. And once again, you just ugga dugga that. Hey. Hello. Hello. Hi. Fishing. Yeah. And then it said it wasn't going to rain, and I was like, oh, well. What a douche. So I'm glad that you got to go, because I know that you wanted to really bad. Okay. Reposition a little. Okay. 
and we get one. What up, my guy? See, I knew you were there. I knew you were there. Thanks. Tell your friends, or don't tell your friends. <laughs> tell them to eat the white lure. There we go. Hey, if you would open your mouth, my guy, I could maneuver this a little bit better. There you go. Dude was refusing to open his mouth. Well, I forgot to hit record, so. <laughs> but we got another one. A lippable chunk. Very nice. See you, bud. I'm telling you, these rocks, man. Panfish love these rocks. Oh, got one. A dinky little small mouth. Oh, okay, and he's gone. <laughs> a dinky little small mouth. I threw one and somebody wanted a piece. I'm greedy, I want them all, man. Oh, oh, gosh dang. There we go. Ah. Hee -hee. Yes, sir, right through the snout. Okay. Thanks, sir. Okay, guys. GoPro died. Um, so talking on the cam on the cell phone now. Um yeah, we're back in the car. Cax on the roof hot and sweaty now um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the adventure i love doing some fishing lately especially ultra light pan fishing i don't know they fight just as good as any other fish on ultra light equipment the rod like doubles over uh it feels like you always have a big one even if they're a little dink um just a lot of fun i don't know like i said if you are into fishing or ultra light fishing or want to try to get into ultra light fishing check out that link for mule fishing their plastics are amazing as you can see uh we use that same plastic all day and it never got messed up now the stupid little jig head that i got it on cheap walmart little special the little keeper doesn't work very good and it kept sliding it off i'm out of the proper sized mule jigs mule fishing has their own jig heads and it has this little barb that comes down and you lift the plastic and pull it over that and it really locks into place. And if I had that, I probably wouldn't have had to fix, keep sliding up the uh, the minnow like I did on this cheap little jig head. It probably just would have stayed in place the entire time through all those fish. Awesome, awesome stuff. It works really well. Multi-species stuff. I mean, I've caught crappie on that. Rock bass, smallies pumpkin seed hybrids green sunfish bluegills um I've, I've had everything try to take a bite they got the minnows they got donkey tails uh they've got horse flies that look little little bugs kind of um <clears throat> a lot of cool stuff go check them out really affordable too like not that expensive like i bulk order a bunch of stuff at one time like i said i usually lose mine in a tree or something and have to cut off and that's the only reason i lose my lures it's because I get stuck in a tree, and you've seen me get stuck in a tree a lot today. So, yeah, the struggle is real. Yeah, so if you're into that, go check it out. Awesome. Use whatever kind of ultralight rod and reel that you want. But I highly recommend 
plastics from them. Like I said, we used that one minnow to catch all those fish, and I don't, I, I didn't even keep track of how many fish that was. So, right now, leave a comment down below. Best guess, without cheating, do not skip to the end of the. Do, I see. Leave the mouse alone. Thank you. <laughs> without cheating, <laughs> without cheating, guess how many fish that I caught today. I'm gonna I don't know if it's high or not I'm gonna say 38 38 fish that's what I'm throwing out there so I will go through while I'm editing count that up and put that number Ooh, fun fact guys <laughs> you already know I look different it's a different day um going through the footage reviewing and I guess there was a good period of time where I was not recording with the GoPro so not sure what happened there but i have an entire like section of bank that like is non-existent in my video which really sucks because that greatly impacts the number that i'm going to put on the screen i can just try to do a best guess i know that i caught another small mouth because he unhooked himself in the kayak and started flopping around my seat and like got under my seat and it was a whole thing so i know that that happened but this little section that I hit, oh my goodness, I swear, probably 10 fish. I probably will back it off to 8. So maybe 9 more fish that I caught that you guys didn't see and add that to the number. So kind of in there, I think I'm still going to be a bit low on my guess of 38. But yeah, I guess... <laughs> I just want to tell you guys that because I'm going through the footage and I'm like, yo, where is that spot that I hit? It was such a good spot. It was like every single time. Fish, fish, fish. It was nuts and completely just non-existent, which is a bummer. But I mean, I was there, so I still had a blast, but it sucks that I couldn't get any of that on film for you. Yeah, so I just want to insert that there because, uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't want to seem like I was like, Oh, man, this guy's crazy. I'm thinking he had 40 fish and only had, like, 25. No, like, trust me. There was more. Just did not make it on video somehow, which really sucks because it was really funny when the smallmouth was flopping around my kayak and got under my seat, and I'm, like, trying to get him. And I'm like, I don't know where he is. I can't even see him. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. But all right. Whoosh. Back to the video. Right here. I'm going to go home, guys. I'm tired. I'm sweaty. Away. It's almost 730. I got some other stuff I want to do, and then I just want to relax for a little bit. If you like this, let me know down below. Hit that like button. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Uh, yeah. And remember, guys, go out there. Make your own adventure. Life is short. Have fun. Peace, y'all.